going on, good people? Back again with Holding in the Road. And, and today, uh, in my opinion, you know, we're we opinionated. We're an opinionated channel. So uh, I, I just want to drop something on, on changing one thing. If you was to change one thing, one thing about, you know, in your past when you was younger, that you can change, you know, a negative to a positive. One thing you could change about yourself, what would you change? Me personally, I'm going to say I want to change my mindset. You know, to have a stronger, definitive mind about, you know, change. Because when you're young, you don't know. What you don't know is what you don't know. You know, um, so I would say my mindset, just to have a stronger mindset, you know, for financially, you know, growing up, single mother household, three kids. So, you know, we, we didn't have a lot. So to have the, the strong enough mindset to understand that my mama, she got that. She got the strong enough spirit and shoulders to handle what she need to handle. She don't need me right now. She don't need us right now to not push as much as we should push getting our education, to not push as much as we need to push for whatever we may be doing, sports or whatever, to stay out that hood mindset. Because it's quick for, I, I say it's you, any and everybody, but me personally, you know, African American, we quick to run to drugs, sport foolishness early you know whether it's because of financial situation or because of a product of our environment that's just what we see that's just what we know um so to understand that with my mindset and guidance you could put guidance in there but my mindset to understand that dang she got that i i need to i need to take my time with this sport i need to take my time with this education you know Education first, you know, student athlete, but to handle what I need to handle. So when the opportunity comes, and that's key, when my opportunity comes, whether it's with my education to go and take my behind to college, or is it with the sport to go and take my behind to college, or is it to go get you a trade so you can then go into work and make some real money? How just having a mindset of she can handle that, and after that, what to do? Because a lot of us think. Just because we got money, it's going gonna, it's gonna to solve everything, man. You Get you some bread, man. You good to go. No. Get you some money and know what to do with your money. It's humongous. You know, you got a lot of winners. You know, you've you seen the horror stories, you know, a couple years ago. Well, I'll say a long time ago. When they had it streaming on TV, that people winning a lot of winning 25 10 $10 million, $30 million, $100 million. And they broke in three years. How the hell are you broke in three years with all that money? That's what the average person would say. That's what all of us said at first. Then when you get to think about it, when you don't know what to do with money, when you don't know what to do with a blessing, that much finances can be too much for anybody. You hear athletes talk about it all the time, you know, 19, 21 years old, however old, 22, $10 million contract or $50 million contract, $10 million bonus. They don't know what to do with that money. That's so much money. You don't know what to do with that type of money. That, that that's, that's ridiculous. We're where you come from the gutter. When you don't come from money, you don't understand what to do with money. A lot of times, people that like, I, like I said, I grew up broke, single parent household. We don't know what to do with all that type of money. But if you was to learn early, like other nationalities do, you can understand what to do with money. You can understand how to build a, a financial structure to where and build your circle of people around you to where they not just trying to pull you here and there just to take your money. And the fact of what you knowing what to do with your money, opening a business, you know, keeping your taxes straight, uh, putting something back for a rainy day, all that type of stuff, charity, everything like that, that you have a good enough circle around you that'll keep you in the road, keep you focused on, hey, we know we got all this money. Well, we know you got all this money. This is the plan we need to try to do with it. Your mind being open enough and not being so secure or too foolish because, hey, man, I got plenty of money. It ain't going to never stop. You can understand. Slow it down. You got a better mindset. Look, I'm going to try to open up me a good business. I'm going to research that business. I'm going to get me some real estate. I'm going to get me some land. I'm going to build a real infrastructure for me and mine. And when I say me and mine, I mean you, your immediate family, your associates or business partners. Have a good family. Have a good relationship. Y'all build something together and it goes on and on and on to where when you die, the money is still circulating. 
So, me having a better mindset at a younger age, stronger mindset, uh, more educated mindset, you know, just being open to more stuff, not being young, thinking you know everything, or, hey, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to take these lumps across the head, and I'm going to figure it out. That's not what you always have to do. It's other people, older people that you can learn from, their burdens, their struggles, to get a lot better. So, for me, if I could change one thing about my past or when I was younger to you know, pretty much turn the negative to a positive. To me, it'll be my mindset. Stronger mindset, always had a good will, stronger will, but you can put those both together. Stronger mindset at a younger age would take you a lot further, man. Um, so if I could change one thing, that's what it'll be. Y'all live right, play fair.